up there everybody, Citrus Aviation and here for another video and today you'll see in front of you a new airport. So this is the new Burlington Central Carolina International Airport that you'll be seeing in my videos that I'll do for basically all my airports, not just BCI but also Atlanta, Raleigh, Omaha, Des Moines, whatever it is. Uh, Des Moines will have its own setup because I have a map, custom map that I'm going to use for that. And I wanted to talk to you about the new model airport setup and my uh, journey that I took to making this airport. So in the time that it took to make this airport, it took about a week is. I'm recording this on Sunday after I finished making it and I started back on Tuesday evening. And so when I would get off a walk, I'd come, come back, make some progress on it and that sort of thing. So this airport is made um, on a Costco table, just you know, Costco six inch foldable table and I put two boards here that I have, put the terminal, painted the gates, put the aircraft out, GSC out and all that fun stuff. And so I wanted to talk to you today about what the inspiration for making this airport was and then I wanted to talk about the process behind the airport. Now I pre-recorded some parts of how I actually did it and so you'll get to see that too, but I wanted to talk about the inspiration for this airport. So, I've been walking on this airport for, considering doing an airport like this for a long time. I've never actually put together like a proper airport terminal, gates, aircraft, GSC, everything all here. And even still with this, the board's not painted yet. And that's because I really wanted to practice painting lines before I did that. So I used this opportunity to practice with the paint pens and such. So, some point in the future, when I do the expansion, where I add the second Gemini Jets terminal and I put it over here, you'll see that at the time. You'll see that uh, paint be applied to the board at the time. But for now, no paint on the board, it's just wood for now. But yeah, really the whole thing is in the last several years, you know, since I've been doing YouTube since like 2015, my first channel, and this channel's been around since May of 2019. I never really made a full airport. Like I talked about doing it, I planned it, but I never actually done it. You know, some people they struggle procrastination or whatnot. For me, sometimes finishing projects has been a struggle for me personally, but I'm so happy that I finally, I finally did it. I finally put a lot of effort into it, finally completed an airport. Now obviously there'll be changes made all the time. Maybe I don't like a gate position and I'll fix that, but I'm really happy with the results so far. There are a few little nuances you'll notice as you take a look as I do like model airport videos but you'll notice there's a few gates that aren't having bridges to them like this one has a bridge but this one does not have a bridge and the reason for that is after I did some of the lines I realized that some of the aircraft are parked too far away for a bridge to even reach so those are just going to be hard stand gates. And then some of them, I don't have enough of the lawn bridges because I didn't bring everything with me the first time around. I only brought one tunnel and enough gates for that. But unfortunately, I didn't bring enough of the really long, extendable gates. And so I need to bring more of those back when I go to more and I'll bring some more bridges back and I'll finish that. But I'm just so happy that I finally did it. I finally did it. I finally made an airport and uh, I wear my Nike Just Do It t shirt today because I think that's... Uh, a good representation of what this video is about. You know, if you have a project that you want to do, the best thing to do is to just do it. And I'm so happy that I finally made a model airport. And I'm looking forward to making videos on it. So, this took quite a while, maybe about a total 20 hours of work. So, quite a bit of time to put this together. But I'm really happy with the results. And now I'll go to sections where I talk about how I put this airport together. Little did you know that this video was going to include an unboxing. And here we go, we have some planes in here. Well, these aren't planes, these are accessories for the airplanes. The one of them came out, so you can kind of see a preview of what those will be. But we got two sets of items here. The first one we have is the Fantasy Wings American Airlines Airster card set. And you can see it right here, there's four of them, which I'm gonna have use for. And then in here, there's a package of GSC. You can see one there right here, and these are tiny one form scale belt loaders. So let's unbox these and take a look at them. We're gonna do the belt loaders first. There should be like 20 in here, if I remember correctly. There's a lot of them. Here you go. 
I know they're very difficult to see on camera right now. We'll get a better view of them here in just a second. I need these because there's so many that are used on the axle ramp, and these actually look to be pretty decent. There's one. And let's uh, open this. I'm going to need to actually get scissors to take these staples off. Alright, so here we are. I kind of had to destroy the box just to get those clips to come off. So here we go. Here's the card that comes with it. Pretty neat card. These are actually kind of neat, almost like collectible items. So that's neat. And then we have the axle models themselves, which are in here. So let's pull them out. Actually, I could just keep this tray. But yeah, there are the Airstair trucks. These are trucks, not carts. But yeah, let's take a closer look at these. So this set comes with four trucks that are all the same size. And here's what they look like. You can see this is the cab. Right there, it's got some headlights on it and a brand, I think it's a Suzuki truck or something like that. You can see American Airlines is written both on the frame and the top of the staircase there. Got some wheel details and of course you got the stair details which are pretty good. I believe these do not adjust in that position. Yeah, these are fixed in place. So yeah. Here's what another one looks like. And of course we got two more back here. So we got a total of four of these, which is pretty good. Um, so let's see what aircraft we can uh, put these next to. So I have the stairs here pulled up to a Boeing 767 and as you can see it fits perfectly. So it's basically perfect for an American 763. Here they are hooked up to a Delta 757. As you can see here they also fit basically perfectly. Maybe a little bit too high, like a touch too tall. But other than that, they're perfect. Here you can see the stairs next to a Delta Airbus 350. And as you can tell, they're just a bit too short for the Airbus 350. So it appears that these air stairs are meant for the 767 specifically. Here the stairs are next to a Boeing 787. As you can see, they're just a little bit too short for the doors on the 787. This is an NG Models 1, really nice model by the way. And I believe the same thing would be for the Airbus 330. So generally this, these are made for the 767 and for the 757-200 and that's basically it. So if you have one of those, these American air stairs are perfect for those. And then finally here are some 3D printed belt loaders provided by West Coast Diecast. I did buy these, I think I ordered 20 total. And here's a sample of them. I needed a bunch of these because this is one of the most common pieces of equipment at an airport and I need them for the airplanes. You park them up by the airplanes and they're very typically used there. So um, I need a lot of them and these were very affordable and they're basically based off the tug version that you see at most airports. And so yeah, they're fairly simple little models here, but it fits the need that I need them for. So yeah, that's what those look like. Here they are next to a Boeing 757. And then here they are next to an Airbus 319. So if you're looking for some affordable, unpainted GSC, West Coast Diecast has a lot of good stuff and he does sell fantasy wings too. So if you're looking for good GSC, he's got a ton of great stuff available. Throughout the model airport, you may notice a few changes and modifications that I've made to the jet bridges. This is the big one here where I painted this black area around the bridge right around the canopy area to make it much more realistic as you can see because the canopies are kind of a, a grayish black color and so I did that and I want to show you how I did it so I'm going to show you with this jet bridge right here this little jet bridge that I want to show you and it's really simple you just take a soapy marker so I'm going to show you how I did it here with this one so we're going to start with the bottom you just gotta we're going to start the bottom here there's just a little bit down here that you gotta do and then you got the sides. Of course, we've got to do the inside. Just doing the canopy here, making it nice and black to make it look as good as possible. Let's do the side here. And 
then the top. This can be a little bit messy, but you know, just get done as smoothly and as carefully as possible and it'll look good. A solid bee actually works really well. I know you can use black paint for it, but I found a solid bee actually works quite effectively. And then just ensure that your corners are done. And uh, there you go, that's a sample of what one bridge with a painted canopy looks like. It's pretty simple to do. So yeah, if you want to make your canopies and your bridges look more realistic, that's a simple way that you can do it. Next, I'm going to show you how to paint the board and the markings. Now, I did not paint the board for this airport. I'll do that in a future episode. For now, I just wanted to get an airport set up, paint the line markings and such. So, how do I do this? Well, there's three simple tools I need. First, you're going to need some paint markers. Uh, these are one that I got at a local Hobby Town USA. Uh, it came in a set with like a, like five or six of them. And the red and the yellow ones are the ones that you're going to need as well as the white one um, to make accurate line markings. I'm just going to do yellow and red for now. Then I'll do the white lines later uh, because white doesn't sew up very well on a wood surface. So I opted not to do that. But uh, once you've painted over with uh, gray or a brown or whatever color you're going to use for your, um, for your ramp, then you can use the white. But just for the wood, uh, white doesn't really sew up. So I'm using yellow and red for your typical line markers and then for the black markings I'm actually just going to use an ink pen for that because it's really simple fine tip ink pen and I'm also using a ruler here to uh, mazo everything and this towel here to wipe off excess paint and such in order to make the lines fit aircraft really well a thing that you can do is draw out the gate markings with a pencil or a pen first. I recommend a pencil because sometimes the paint markers have a difficult time, particularly for whatever reason, yellow markers, they don't want to draw over the pencil lines very well without mixing the two. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna fix that. Some of my lines are just kind of like a blackish yellow because the pencil or ink mixed with the yellow paint and it hasn't worked out super well. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe like go over it for another layer at some point or try something else to see if that'll fix it. But for now, uh, this is what I have. I am gonna try maybe at some point in the future doing the white lines around the red and also the southwest gates I have. I have a few of these interesting shaped southwest gates right over here. These are the unique southwest style gates. They actually have a yellow and red market on the outside. So I'm going to see if I can do that at some point. But for now, this is the setup that I have and I'm really, really happy with the results. So that's this airport video where I talk about the new BCI airport and the new setup. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy it and there will be model airport videos coming on this new setup. So thank y'all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.